Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I took a little bit of a Christmas holiday break, but I'm back. First video of 2021, Happy New Year. I wish you nothing but blessings this year of 2021. Now, with this being my first video for 2021, I wanna take a look back at 2020. Now, I know it was a crazy year, we just wanna forget about it, but I wanna take a look at my style throughout the year of 2020 pre-COVID, during the pandemic, and I wanna see how the pandemic may have played a role in my style, or if it did play a role in my style. So I've, I've picked a few pictures um, that I liked from the year 2020, and we're gonna take a look at that and see how my style was last year. All right, so for the first picture, this is it. Um, this was the first time in 2020 that I went somewhere worth dressing up. Um, this was for Menfluential back in February of 2020. This is one of the, the, the outfits that I wore. This is the, the navy blue suit that I got from Spear McKay. In a couple of weeks prior to Menfluential, I had done a review on that on that suit. But yeah, I love this suit, man. It's, I like how it just sits on me. It's a very classic look. Navy blue, burgundy tie, white dress shirt. There's it's not many ways you can mess up this kind of look. Um, I've been to Menfluential now for five years, and of all the times that I've gone, this is probably my most favorite outfit. It wasn't too tight. It wasn't too loose. It just fits me right. It drapes on me well. If there was anything that I could change about it, though, it would probably be the legs. The legs, I could taper the legs a little bit more, but overall, I love this look. All right, guys, let me tell you something. 2020 was the year of the fedora. I really got into fedoras last year. And I don't know, just, I don't know why I just all of a sudden just started wearing them, but I, I'm glad that I did because it really does fit my style. I know a lot of guys like to wear fedoras with their suits, but for me, I prefer wearing for fedoras in a more casual sense, like what I'm wearing in this picture. So cardigan, white tee with the fedora on, I'm sure I had some jeans. Um, and I like this whole look. If you know anything about me, you know I'm really into earth tones. Brown is one of my favorite colors. So the different variations of brown I like. Really like this picture. I like this look. I love this. So uh, this is probably one of my top looks of 2020. Now in this photo, I was really stepping out of the box with my style. I've never done anything like this. Of course, I have a couple of jean jackets, but I never owned a jean shirt prior to this. Um, I have a couple of chambray dress shirts, but nothing more in a, in a casual sense. So this was the first time I, I ever owned a jean shirt and I kind of like it, you know, I kind of like it. I still have the shirt, it still fits me. And um, I like the rugged look that it gives me. And I'm even considering getting another jean shirt, but in more like a lighter blue color. So yeah, this just goes to show, you know, experiment with things, you know, go outside the box, try different things with your style. You might like it, you might not like it. This could have been an epic fail, but it wasn't. I really love this. Again, with another fedora look, um, I believe I have like five, I have a whole bunch of them here. I got like five fedoras so far and counting because I have another one on the way. Um, but yeah, I like this whole look. Again, with the earth tones, green, another one of my favorite colors. I like the green accent on the sleeves. It really makes you look at my arms. And I try to coordinate as much as I can with this, uh, with the green hat, the green on the shirt, and of course with the, with the green chinos. And like I said, I prefer for Doris in a more casual look, just like this. So this was summer 2020. Um, these pants are essentials. Uh, Jose Zuniga from Teaching Man's Fashion, he's the one that makes these pants. When I did my review of them, I'm gonna put a link up here, I did voice my concerns about a couple things with the pants, uh, one of which that you can see in this, in this picture. The back flap pocket is just sticking out and you just annoyed me. Um, 
But overall, I like the look. I'm, I like the urban chic vibe that I'm getting from, from this look. The button down shirt with no tie, the double breasted waistcoat, the white pants and the tassel loafer. So I overall like, like, like this look. If you guys are interested in essential pants, they do run slim. So you might have to go up a couple sizes. So at this point, um, summer is winding down. I'm not going out as much. You know, the pandemic is going on. Everyone's being quarantined. I'm not taking as much photos as I used to take the year prior. Um, other than, I mean, all these photos that, I, that you've seen so far are self uh, photos other than the previous one. Um, but yeah, this was pretty much my look throughout the year was dressing comfortably. I, was, I wasn't going anywhere that required me wearing a suit or a blazer or a sport coat. This was pretty much my look. Cardigan, V-neck um, shirt, sweatpants, and my fedora. But dressing casually and comfortably was like a go-to last year. All right, in this photo, I was experimenting with some double exposure, did a lot of photography stuff last year. The image of me sitting down, I'm wearing corduroy pants, a Henley shirt, and of course my kill shots. The image of me leaning on the pillar, I'm wearing Levi's jeans. I don't know if you guys were around, but three years ago, I did review some Levi's jeans. Those are the same jeans. I still have them. They still fit me. Um, a blue turtleneck and a gray puffer vest. So a couple things stand out to me in this photo. One, I'm still sticking to the theme of comfort and being able to move freely in my clothes. Other than Menfluential last year, I think that was the only time I actually dressed up to go somewhere. I didn't wear any like sport coats, blazers, suits, or even dress shoes. Those kill shots are my most worn shoes of 2020. And the other thing that stuck out to me is the fact that I'm, I am still wearing those, those Levi's jeans. And actually, everything in this photo I reviewed on my channel individually, other than the puff puffer vest. So the Henley shirt, the corduroy pants, the kill shots, the Levi's jeans, the blue turtleneck. I mean, this just goes to show that when you invest in quality products and you take care of them, they last you a while. Another casual look in this picture uh, further demonstrates how a fedora goes well with a casual look. Um, the pants may look tight, but it's just the way I have my, my right leg. If you look at the left leg, there's a nice taper down. And these are my Banana Republic chinos that I had from two years ago. What I really wanted to accomplish with this look was to incorporate the, uh, the mask, which was a required accessory last year and still is during this whole pan pandemic. If I could incorporate a mask into my style. So I had a green mask. I have a green fedora. I don't know if you can see, but I have a green bandana underneath the, the fedora. Um, green pants, of course. And I think the white shirt with the white shoes, it kind of balances it and it makes those individual pieces stand out on their own, but also work to, 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 together with the white and the jean jacket as well. So yeah, I like this look. So in this photo, I am also styling the fedora by wearing a bandana underneath and there's various ways we, that, that, that you can style a fedora. That may have to be a standalone video on its own. But this was a whole monochromatic look, and that was one of my looks in 2020. You know, since I wasn't really going anywhere, I didn't want to put too much thought into what I wore. Monochromatic, there's not a lot of ways you can mess up a monochromatic look, especially when it's all black like this. And lastly, in this photo, um, I can't remember where I was going that required me dressing up like this, but... Yeah, it's, it's, it's more dressed up than your sweatpants and jeans, but it's not too dressed up. You know, I can still move freely. You know, I, f I, can, I feel very comfortable wearing something like this. This is actually one of my signature looks. High-waisted pants, braces, either a shirt or a turtleneck in, like, like, like I did in this photo. But I don't know, I, I'm, I'm liking the old school vibes I'm giving in this photo. Kind of, I'm getting 70s, 80s kind of vibe. Um, I, I do feel like I'm an old man in a young, I'm an old soul in a young man's body. And, and I really like this photo. Kind of look too cool for school here. But yeah, um, 
Let me know what you guys think about this one. I, I, I really like, like this one. So what were a couple of takeaways from my style in 2020? Well, a couple of things, and I'm not sure if I did this intentionally or I'm so deep in my style journey that I'm now doing things unconsciously, but I noticed I put an emphasis on two things. One, functionality. Functionality more than style. Functionality to me is the why. Why wear fedora? Why wear suit? Does it fit the story that you're trying to tell? Why wear braces? Why wear those type of pants? So let's take the fedora for example. What's the function of the fedora? Well, the brim of the fedora protects my eyes from the rays of the sun, but more importantly, I have a bald head. Now, there's a myth out there that people that look like me don't get sunburned, but yeah, we do. So I want to protect my head from that and just want to protect my head from the heat that will be coming up, coming up, up upon it. And also this time of the year when it's cold, I love my fedoras. It's keeping my head insulated and keeping me very warm. And it's a classic stylish alternative to the beanie. So functionality of the, of, of, of the fedora. And oh, by the way, it just happens to be stylish. It's a classic piece of clothing that um, gentlemen have been wearing for years and I love it. The second emphasis that I noticed was on comfort and maybe the pandemic played a role in this with everything being shut down. I didn't really have many places that I could go that required me wearing a suit, a sport coat, a blazer or some kind of structured garment. Uh, I was pretty much wearing chinos, jeans, shorts, um, sweatpants, sweaters, cardigans, you know, things that made me feel comfortable, things that made me move freely, especially for my physique. Uh, so I don't know how 2021 will play out, but I saw that as a, as a theme in 2020. Um, things are starting to pick back up a little bit, but who knows? <laughs> 2021 may just be a repeat of 2020 where I don't get to go anywhere that really requires me wearing a, wearing a, a, a suit, but we'll see. But definitely, um, I noticed those two, two things, functionality and comfort with the, with the things that I wore. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, so year 2020, things were more on the casual side of things when it comes to style. Uh, I do miss going to events like parties, weddings that required me dressing up. But at the same time, I was kind of enjoying this casual year that we, were, that we went through. I didn't have to put much thought into what I wore. I just wanted to be comfortable. And I know a lot of us were working from, from home, so that even... In, it further emphasized wearing comfortable clothes. But let me know down in the comments if your style was the same in 2020, if it was more on the casual side of things. Do you prefer it that way? And hopefully we will go back things being normal again. Um, so I hope you guys stay safe. I will see you guys next week. And until then, stay fly, stay fit.